Kormonsch de la Baios de Kurbusch de Kermens de Kermande Kurbusch de Leste Kididio Surmonda Ramande de Kededeis de Laia. Oh, haha, si Kermendos de Kurbusch de Laia. This Kurboa, because I have called you to be the 11th hour generation. And you are the 11th hour generation. You are the generation that will combine all the blessings from all other workers in the fields. You will have the biggest blessings, the most of all the blessings. All those who worked before you, you will combine all these blessings. Healing, worship, hallelujah, Holy Spirit. You are the 11th hour generation. You are the generation that is set, hallelujah. That it is set, hallelujah, made for such a day as this. You're made for this. Have an apostolic and prophetic mindset for the work I'm doing here in Johannesburg. This is not just another work. It's a prophetic and an apostolic work. Hallelujah. It's a work that will be relevant with the message, with the apostolic, and with the prophetic. Many movements had the two things before, but lack the third thing, lack the prophetic. I have called you, hallelujah, to be a prophetic church. Not only an apostolic church, but be the 11th hour generation church for this nation. Hallelujah. Because this nation shall be saved. Hallelujah. Now I'm using you and your leaders. I'm using you and your leaders, your pastors, so that this will come to pass. I've said it. It will be done. It will come to pass. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Redemption is not only God's apple of the eye. Redemption is God's 11th hour generation. That combines all the blessings of the other workers in the fields. Because there were workers in the third hour. There were workers in the sixth hour. There were workers in the ninth hours. But there are workers and that's you in the eleventh hour. Hallelujah. The third hour workers had the blessing of the power of the Holy Spirit. Because it was the third hour and everybody thought they were drunk. At the day of Pentecost. But then the sixth hour. The sixth hour is the generation. Where Jesus is sitting at the well. At the sixth hour. And this woman comes. And he explains to her how to worship. Because God is spirit. And those who want to worship. Will worship in spirit and truth. That is the second blessing. The eleventh hour combines all the former blessings. In one generation. Through one work. Through one ha -ha, mm, church. So you will have the power of the Holy Spirit. Moving among you. In your midst. You will have supernatural healings. You will have supernatural deliverances from bondages. And stuff you would never dream of. The Holy Spirit will move mightily. But you secondly will have worship. Like no one else. And it will go around the world. It will change the world. It will hit the world. And the world will be mm, changed. Transformed forever. Through the blessing of the sixth hour. And then there is the ninth hour generation. That's also a generation. The workers in the field, they went before the eleventh hour generation. That is the ninth hour. Hallelujah. The lame man, that's healing. That's healing. That's prayer. Hallelujah. People will be healed through prayer. You will lay hands on people and they will be healed. You will pray and people will heal in a distance. Because you have groups that will pray. You have groups and people that will pray. And things will be protected. Things will not even happen. Because people are praying in groups that are praying. Hallelujah. Covering this church. And you will see many healings. All this is in the ninth hour. Check the New Testament about the third, sixth and ninth hour. You only find a handful of scriptures after the cross. Not before the cross. After the cross. New Testament epistles. Check it and you will find a handful of scriptures. Very precise. That's the third, sixth and ninth hour blessing all combined. So for you and redemption, this will be the three big blessings. Holy Spirit power. Worship power. Healing power. 
Hallelujah. And now you are the 11th hour generation. That's the generation because the Lord returns at midnight. Amen. The Lord returns at midnight. Combined all these blessings, you'll be an unstoppable force. You'll change the world again. I said you'll change the world again. But with a fresh anointing. Not with the former anointing. The residue is there. I've been there. I've ministered there. The residue is there. But this will be a new, fresh anointing. Hallelujah. You allow me to lay hands on you? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Ah, the fresh anointing. Stand up, Tara. The fresh anointing. The fresh anointing. Tristan. Where is Tristan? For, oh, he's, um, Can you just come, come up a little bit? Just hold the mic. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Fresh anointing. A fresh anointing upon them. An anointing according to their call. According to what is, what is happening near. What is about in the future. It's not an old anointing. It's a fresh one. It's not the residue. It is new. Because I made all things new. I put eternity into your heart. And the main expression of eternity is a new heaven, a new earth, and the new Jerusalem. And God is speaking and saying to you both, I will make everything new. It's not a former one. It's a new anointing. And it will be effortless. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah.